the rough, followed by the golden snitch. Remember, the snitch is worth 150. Ever wondered how small a spy drone could get before it becomes practically invisible? What if we told you there's a new one out there from China that weighs less than half a gram, that's less than a single dollar bill, and is roughly the size of a mosquito? Get ready because this tiny tech is about to blow your mind. So how small are we talking? Imagine a drone that's about two centimeters long. That's like shorter than your pinky fingernail for most people. And it weighs just 0.3 grams. To put that in perspective, a regular paperclip weighs about one gram. This thing is literally lighter than a paperclip. It's designed by some super smart folks at China's National University of Defense Technology also known as NUDT. The drone isn't just small for the sake of it. It's built to look and act like a real mosquito. It's got two super thin leaf-shaped wings that can flap an incredible 500 times every single second. Can you even imagine that speed? Almost like hairs, which let it land and perch on pretty much any surface. Think about that for a second. It could land on a leaf, a wall, even your shirt, and you might not even notice. The whole point of this design is stealth. It's meant to be incredibly hard to see, hear, or even detect. The engineers had to pack so much tech into this tiny frame. Sensors, a power system, control bits, and even communication stuff. It's a huge step forward in making really, really tiny machines. They call this kind of tech MEMS, which stands for Microelectromechanical Systems. Sounds complicated, but basically it's about making things super miniature. What can this little bug do? This mosquito drone is built for super secret military operations. We're talking about gathering intelligence, checking out battlefields, and basically being a tiny spy. Even though it's so small and measuring around 1 to 2 centimeters in length and weighing just about 0.3 grams. It's loaded with tiny cameras that can take super clear pictures, microphones to record sound, and even sensors to pick up electronic signals. This means it's perfect for sneaking into places that are usually super secure, like monitoring restricted areas or doing surveillance in busy cities where bigger drones would stick out like a sore thumb. Because it's so minuscule and quiet, traditional radar systems often can't even pick it up. It's like a ghost in the air especially useful for getting into indoor environments that regular larger drones just can't access. And here's another cool or maybe scary thought. Imagine not just one of these, but a whole bunch of them working together. They could be deployed as a swarm. What do you think that would look like? A thousand tiny mosquitoes, all drones, flying together to cover a huge area or even overwhelm enemy defenses. China is already super into swarm drone technology and has even set world records in this area, like a display in Chongqing with 11,787 drones flying simultaneously. This mosquito drone takes that idea to a whole new level, offering a new dimension to intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR operations. It's not just China playing in this tiny drone sandbox. There's a worldwide race to develop these micro UAVs, Norway has its Black Hornet series, palm-sized drones weighing about 70 grams, already used by militaries like the US and NATO forces. The newest Black Hornet 4 boasts over 30 minutes of flight time and a range of more than 3 kilometers, even in winds up to 25 knots. The US Air Force also confirmed micro-drone development in 2021, and Harvard's RoboB project explores insect-sized drones for civilian uses like environmental monitoring. Even DARPA is exploring insect cyborgs by embedding tech into real insects. What's tough about making these? Even though these mosquito drones are super cool, making and actually using them isn't easy at all. The biggest headache is power. Imagine trying to fit a powerful engine into something the size of a bug. Their incredibly light design means batteries have to be tiny too, typically ranging from a mere 50 to 200 mAh. M.A. Hodge. This directly translates into very limited flight times and operational ranges. We're talking minutes, not hours, for these early versions. Keeping them airborne for any significant duration remains a huge engineering puzzle. Manufacturing such miniature and complex devices is another massive challenge. 
demanding a unique mix of scientific smarts. It requires close collaboration between experts in microscopic engineering, who handle the tiny parts, and material scientists, who develop super strong yet incredibly lightweight materials like advanced composites or specialized plastics. On top of that, bionics plays a crucial role. Studying how real insects fly and incorporating those natural designs into the drone to make it efficient and stable. Getting all the essential components, the sensors, the power source, the control circuits, and the communication modules, to fit into such a small space while still functioning perfectly, pushes current miniaturization technology to its absolute limits. This makes sustained battlefield operations tricky. Operators would constantly need to replace, recharge, or redeploy these drones, all while managing the data they collect and staying close to the target. It's why this tech is currently better suited for highly specialized missions or espionage rather than broad, continuous surveillance. Now this is where things get a bit serious. A drone the size of a mosquito raises significant questions about security and privacy. These drones could track individuals, eavesdrop on conversations, or even steal personal data like passwords, operating with minimal visual or acoustic signature. Because they're so hard to spot, traditional security systems like radar are often ineffective. This creates a huge advantage for whoever possesses them, enabling relatively inexpensive micro-drones to compromise high-value targets or sensitive facilities and reshape the landscape of counterintelligence and industrial espionage. China developing this mosquito drone isn't just a one-off thing. It's part of their bigger plan to modernize their military and focus on what they call asymmetric warfare. This means developing ways to fight that don't rely on huge traditional armies, but on smart, unexpected technologies. The drone is part of a whole bunch of advanced robots NUDT is working on, like drones that can be shot out of artillery cannons. This kind of tech fits perfectly with China's military thinking, finding ways to mess with the battle systems of powerful opponents and counter big advanced combat platforms. The Mosquito drone shows a shift from giant military machines to small, adaptable robots that can work in tough, tricky environments. And what if these drones get even smarter? Imagine if they had artificial intelligence and machine learning built in. They could operate on their own, making decisions with very little human help. A whole swarm of them could work together, almost like a buzzing, intelligent cloud. This is totally in line with China's investment in AI for military use and their idea of intelligentized warfare. This tiny mosquito drone is just the beginning. Experts believe it will revolutionize surveillance and warfare. While it offers incredible potential for good, like disaster relief or even medical breakthroughs, it also raises huge ethical questions about privacy and security. The rapid pace of technology means more advanced versions are coming, so countries must work together to establish rules for this groundbreaking dual-use tech. The future of spying and global power dynamics is about to get a whole lot smaller and buzzier. What do you think about these tiny drones? Are they exciting or a bit too scary? We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.